Hey, what's up? So, you're always constantly trying to find ways to explain to people how important it is to keep your back tight during any lift. Let's just say specifically squat and deadlift. You try to relate to them, explain to them that you transfer power, force, energy through your back, through your spine, through your core. Um, uh, Trevor Jaffe put up a video the other day uh, and it was it was one of his ask me anything um, and he's talking about how the legs are the prime mover on deadlift and the purpose of the core your back um, is to trans support and transfer power um, and moving forward if I get words wrong if I sound stupid you know I, you know what I mean don't get in my balls uh, Trevor's more like PhD I'm more like EBT you know, you know what I'm trying to say. So, today I was trying to think of a way to explain to somebody the importance of keeping your back rigid, how the back on the deadlift, your back, your core, uh, the whole responsibility of your back and your core is to hold, hold position. It's not to move, you're not supposed to lift with your back on the deadlift. The whole purpose of your back, your core, in regards to the deadlift or squat, is just to hold in position hold rigidity and if you are better at keeping that core locked in stabilized the more power energy force you can transfer through that to the bar and I was thinking I use baseball swinging a baseball bat as an example um, the person swinging the bat uh, that is your legs uh, let's talk about deadlift the person swinging the bat that's your legs the bat is your core, your back. The ball, your transference through to the bar. Let's just say the ball is the bar. If you are going to swing a bat, let's say Mark McGuire swings a bat that's made out of wood. That is made of a soft wood that is not very durable. Every time he swings and hits the ball, bat shatters, bat cracks, bat breaks. Now, that ball is going to go a distance. You know, it's not just gonna piddle. Like, he's gonna hit that ball a distance. I mean, you've seen guys hit home runs uh, when they break their bat. But so much power, energy, and force is lost through the action of that bat breaking, that bat bending to the will of the force between the ball and the person swinging it. Now, if you take same guy, Mark McGuire, swinging a bat, that is not going to break, that is made of a, a wood, I don't fucking know, a wood that is strong enough to withstand anything. You can have all the force in the world. You can have a swing of Mark McGuire and that strength doesn't mean dick if he's using a bat or your core or your back that cannot withstand the load, cannot transfer the load through to the bar, the ball. So if you give Mark McGuire, a bat that is stiff, rigid, capable of withstanding and transferring force, he's going to hit that ball out of the stadium every single time. And it's really important to, you know, look at the comparisons between the way you deadlift and the bat and the ball scenario. If you have a core lower back that is only capable of holding position with 400 pounds in the deadlift, but your legs and your upper back are well, well and more capable of deadlifting five, 600, 700 pounds, you're gonna be limited to that 400 pounds because that is the most amount of force that your body, your core, your lower back can transfer through it. Now, if you were to build up that rigidity, that strength, that stability in your back, in your core, or just learn how to brace properly, it gives you the opportunity to use that force generated from your legs off the ground through your core to the bar, resulting in a much bigger pull. I hope this, you know, it makes sense in my head. Um, a lot of people think that you use your back to lift on deadlift and you don't. The, the point of, the point of your, your back and your core is to hold position, hold rigidity, not move at all, and your legs are the mover. Your, leg is what, your legs are moving everything through time and space. Um, if your core is locked in and you lift off the ground 
hips hinge through, back comes up out of necessity because it's locked in. Uh, your back doesn't actually lift the weight off the ground. Uh, your back just holds position. So I hope this analogy, uh, whatever the fuck you call it, was helpful. Uh, it made a lot of sense in my brain. Uh, then again, a lot of stuff makes sense in my brain. It doesn't make sense outside of it. But I hope this was helpful. Uh, again, uh, a part of this uh, was inspired from what uh, Trevor Jaffe posted. And then another part of it was... Uh, me earlier in the day trying to think about ways to explain to somebody the importance of keeping that uh, position in your core on the deadlift and how it transfers over to how much you can actually pull um, regardless of how strong you know your legs are 